Welcome back my friends to Enderal. Today we are continuing our adventure by trying to find one of the three black stones. We've already found one and we need to find two more. According to the notes of the Arch Magister, an apothecary that hides within the Undercity of Ar has one of these black stones. So let us head to the entrance of the Undercity and see if we can find it. And we haven't actually gone into the Undercity on this character yet, so I'm kind of interested to see what it even looks like down here. Apparently there's a whole civilization of dangerous people that live below the city. Right, I got my torch. So we can... Wow. Oh my oh, god. Come on. Not again. What's... Mind your own fucking business. Ah, oh, good to see you, brother. Right into Apparently the there's pits. a fighting pit. <laughs> We've got to go and check this out. This place is awesome, though. Oh, my god. Hello there. Obvious, my sir. Please. Redeem, your kindness. redeem you for your kindness. What kindness? Hello, naked man. Welcome to the false dog. Okay, there's a nice pub down here as well. I think this is the apothecary's house. The Undercity Barracks. Hmm. The barracks down here as well. This is so cool. I love, like, how this has been made. It, it's literally a city in a cave with only a few glimpses of the outside. Why are you... Oh, he's, like, fallen down a hole. I was like, why are you so short? Is this the alchemist? He looks very important. What this is shrouded it, mage. That's a knight. Sure, wearing their sunshine. Marketplace like is on the left, apparently. Ten out of ten pub here. Looks fantastic. Drum was having a great time anyway. All right, sunchild. You stop right there. Hand over your money, and we might let you live. Play the hero, and, well, you fill in the blanks. Are you actually kidding me? I'm almost scared. You didn't look like the cutthroat types. Why are you doing this? Let's try out our skill here. Did I ask you to talk? Give us your fucking purse, or we'll make you. Color me impressed. I am almost scared. What the? Do you know what this is? A knife. And trust me, you don't want to see it up close. You heard my friend, so shut up and pay. You want to get out of this alive. Are you kidding me? I'm like fully equipped in armor here. I'm going to count to three, and if you're not gone by then, you'll be picking up your teeth in the dust. I... But... Logan... Don't. This is a bad idea. But the shadow tax. We'll find another way. Come on. The shadow tax? Hmm? I guess there's an everyday occurrence down here because no one really reacted to that at all. Let's head on inside the market. The shadow tax. I wonder what that is. If I was an evil warlord, I would definitely have a shadow tax there. Sounds pretty awesome. People would love to pay that. Oh my god, this place is a maze. Is this is the alleyway is amazing. Mm -hmm. A maze, amazing. Zork Band Cellar. Hey, I can easily Move break into along. that. Dude. A sun childer. I bet you came to watch those fools cut their guts open in the. It's I did, probably. snobs ever come down here. It's called life. Oh, so apparently we need to go this way. Bloody wench thinks she's back to incarnate. She'll get me down in this alleyway. Ooh. Put off the evil hour. This is a very pretty entrance to a house. The house of the apothecary. Let's see what we find inside, shall we? Oh, it looks like this man is... Please. Uh, he's gone. Oh god. You're chundering oil, are you? I think we'll leave you boys to it. 
and find this apothecary. Please. Hello there. What? Who are you? Oh, the order sent me. I need your help with something. Oh, really? And what could someone working for the order bring down to a place like this and risk spoiling his fine garments? Is there a problem? Watch your tongue. I'm here because I'm looking for a black stone. Which is said to be associated with your league. Do you understand anything about that? A black stone? No idea what you're talking about. Now, is there something else? If not, leave. Time is sparse these days. Don't lie to me. But my sources say you're lying. I don't like it when people lie to me. And I don't like it when people think a big sword on their back gives them the right to go around riding roughshod over anyone who doesn't lick their boots. This is my 50th year in the league, and if I don't know anything about a black stone, then no one does. Now, shove off. Damn it. What my sources say. Listen to me. This is my 50th oh, year in the league, too old and for if this. I don't know anything about a black stone, Carla's here, though. no one Speak does. To her. Oh, thank now, the sun. There be. you are. I've been looking for you. Carl, what are you doing here? I followed you. It's about your mission. I know that the Grand Master ordered you to find the Black Stones, and I believe I know where to find the one you were looking for down here. You do? Where? Maybe she's buried it inside her, considering her extremely dark powers she has. Far away from here, and I can show you where. The only thing I ask of you is that no one must know about my part in this. Promise me that, and I'll tell you what I know. I promise. Thanks. Believe me, I don't like this any more than you do. Come, you follow me. You love the me. darkness. Don't lie to me, Carla. Carlia, whatever your name is. Let me at least walk a little bit faster because I don't have all day. Now oh, that sick person, you see, he's died waiting for you, Carlia. Head outside. I remember oh. coming here as a child. The apothecary gave me something to eat before setting me on the streets again. All that, it seems so distant now. It's easy to forget about the other side of the coin once you haven't seen it for a while. Kalia used to live in the Undercity, if you didn't know, guys. Where are we going? This looks like a dead end. Is it like a secret entrance? Maybe? Oh! Oh! Secrets! Oh, no. Okay, we're just hanging right. out. This is better. Have you ever heard the name Dalgalar? Dalgalar? Yes, I think someone told me about him once. The healer of the poor. Healer of the poor. Yes, that's what some people called him. It doesn't do him justice, though. Dalgalar helped everyone regardless of his wealth. The only difference was that he had the rich people pay for their treatment. Do you also remember why he left Ark? Vaguely. Didn't he have a quarrel with the League of the Apothecary because of his methods? Yes. For him, the end justified the means. For example, it is said that he once healed a crippled soldier by replacing his lost leg. The League considered such practices pathless, but Dalgalar refused to give in, and that is how they came to blows. Finally, Dalgalar left Ark and moved into a remote old castle in the Frostcliff Mountains. Hmm, I can see why the League was coming from. That's so typical. He tried to help people. That's what should matter. True. But people fear what they don't know. It has always been like that. I guess you know the rest of the story. He became more and more reclusive until one day, he locked the gates and was never heard from again. The apothecaries say that it was his eccentricity which was to blame, but I think there is more to it than that. Let me guess, you think the Blackstone had a role in this? I know it did. I recently read the notes of one of the few apprentices he permitted to come with him. And this is where it gets interesting. Dalgalar researched something he only referred to as the Angel. No one but him was allowed to take part in its creation, and he hired dozens of mercenaries to get him the resources he needed for his experiments. Books, relics, rare herbs, things like that. And one of those relics was a small dark stone 
shining like the skin of an eel. Blackstone, and you think it's responsible for whatever really happened in his castle? Yes. What do you think, Saira? That does sound like a lead, doesn't it? A good one, actually. But why all this secrecy? I was waiting for that question. Alright then, I might as well come clean. I am interested in all this because there is a rumor as to what the angel was supposed to be. What? A talisman. One that allows its bearer to heal any disease in the world, even flesh maggots, the yellow fever, or the black death. All of them. And I want to find this angel, Saira. Why? So she can heal herself, I guess. Isn't it obvious? Because I want to be healed. Well, thinking about this creature inside of you, the demon. Yes. If there's even just a sliver of a chance that this device, whatever it is, can help me, I have to take it. And that is also why the Order must not know about any of this. They would confiscate the artifact before I could use it for myself. And what am I supposed to tell them if they ask me why I need it? I can't allow anyone to learn the truth about me, not until I've dealt with it. <sighs> now enough about my motivations, Saira. Let us plan how we are going to proceed. Indeed. You're right. How can we get to the castle? It's up north, right? Yes. I found us a map that should point the way from the Frostcliff Tavern. Go prepare yourself. I will meet you there. Thank you for helping me. I know I might not show it that much, but I appreciate your... Uh... Friendship. Oh, no, we got friend zoned, guys. I can't believe it. Not again. I already had Lydia, now Carla. Carlia. Is it because I can't pronounce your name? Is that why? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, fair enough. Okay, well. All right, my friends. Now we need to travel all the way from Ark to the tavern, which is located here, Frostcliff. We've actually already been here before. And here we are. Do you recognize it, guys, with this crazy drunk guy who's still absolutely mortal outside? So before we go anywhere, we're going to take a sleep so we can actually see what's going on. Oh, just, and just up, how exactly, exactly is that supposed Excuse to help? Excuse my friend, Madam Keeper. No idea, but, but I did what you asked, though. Now, where's Everyone's just face? dabbing in the corners. Or something. Look at this guy. What a bro. Service. Look at him. Look at him go. Wowee. My pleasure. An outlander. Oh my Isn't goodness. Nice. Right, let's get a rune. Another exhausted soul. I don't want a rune. There is. Ten pennies. That sounds good. An angst lady. I'm going to go for a nap before I change to Kalia. Oh, which, which door? Is it this one? This is my rune? Hi, my dad. But why so many? I mean, four. I'm going to sleep until 6 a.m. And then we're going to wake up at the crack of dawn. And go on an adventure, my friends. There we go. This is the crack of the door. Let's go and speak to our companion. Oi! I'm an assassin. I need to go now. Thank you for your help. I take it you listened. I don't think we'll get more than superstitious chatter out of these people. What do you say? Should we head out? Always. Let's go. All right. Come, follow me. No, you, you follow me. I will do the leading. Hello, sir. That's not a good place to sit there. Right at the bottom of the stairs, you fool. You fool! Let me put my torch away one second. Cold. Yes. Well, yes. the castle is about two miles north of here. We shouldn't have any problems if we stay on the road. I suggest you go on ahead. I'll cover your back. Have you ever been in Endera before? I have nothing but problems when I'm staying on the road. It seems like they just set up traps for me along the pathway. Okay, so where the hell is this castle? Oh, it's here. It's here in the mountains. We're going to Skyrim, my brothers, to Skyrim. Look at this beautiful forest. There's a caravan up ahead. I need to equip my bow. Otherwise, we're going to have a bad time. All right. Oh, Jesus, that bird came out of nowhere. Watch out, Kalia. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. She's running kind of weird. All right, so there's a caravan here. I don't know what's inside. Oh, there's a key there. Maybe you can actually buy it as a house. I remember there were some really cool mods in Skyrim where you could actually get like a caravan home and, you know, travel across the whole of Skyrim with it. I don't know what these people are doing out here. Maybe they're... Whoa! 
They were pissed, man. Oh my god, these these guys are like a whole army of Enemies. people. Nerami soldiers. Oh my god, it's the enemy army. Don't worry, Kalia. I've got you. Oh my god. This guy is a martial arts swordsman. Watch out, I've got you, I've got you. How many arrows is he going to take to the back here? He's having none of it. Oh dear. Oh, headshot. Get wrecked, son. Oh, Kalia, I shot you in the head. I'm so sorry. Look at this guy. He's a samurai. Look at him. I don't think so. Mate. How did that miss you? I'm concerned. Where's this other archer? In the trees. He's hiding from me. Focus, come here. Ah, there he is. Oh, no. Watch out, watch out. Oh, God. She got hit. She got shot to the knee there. Come on, then. Shoot your brother. Ow. I see you. Oh, mate. That was a good shot there. Where's he going? There he is. Oh, God. This person's out of me. Get Rex on. There we go. I need to steal her arrows. Maybe we can put on their outfits and then cosplay as soldiers. Where did she go? Here she is. Heavy leather gauntlets. A hunting bow. No wonder she did little damage to me. Not that I'm flexing, but my god. That was easy. Okay, do you have anything good? A Nerami shield. Old rune arrows. Those are the ones I was shooting into you. They're pretty kitted though. Decent armor. Alright, let's eat some food quickly and then we'll progress down this path. Okay, so we're gonna have to watch out for other army patrols on mm, our way. That tower over there looks suspicious if you ask me. Let's be careful. This tower. I assume that man there is evil. But I shoot them. We'll shoot them first and ask questions later. A wild mage. Jesus Christ, Kalia. This isn't good. They're not happy about that. It seems to have immediately detected me. Now they're slinging spells like nobody's business. Oh god. Can't even see anymore. Somehow hit her. Jesus. Watch out! He's an assassin. He trains as an assassin and a mage. His name is Ben Tellor. Can't even see. Goodness me. I'm going to have to run. I'm going to have to abandon my follower here. Oh, God. There he is. He's low on magicka. Thank God. Get away from me. No. Get away. He's almost dead. Ah! I'm going to have to heal. I'm going to have to heal. This is not good, guys. We're getting wrecked. There we go. Two potions. Ah! Ah! Get, get away from me. You how dare you stun lock me. I will shoot you right in the back. Where is she gone? There's a wild mage around here somewhere. I just can't see her. Is she dead? Oh no, there she is. There he is. Ah! There we go. I got him. He's almost dead. Right in the back of the head. How on earth is this guy still alive? Thank you. That's enough from you. I'm going to take your fire stock. That seems to be selling for a lot of money, my friend. That was uh, wild. And this elk was just... There. There we go. Kill it. Kill it. This guy is unique. He has a 12% reduction to elementalism mask. She's running off and trying to kill an elk and failing. Okay. Well, never mind. Let's eat some food. All right. Let's check out this wild mage. Headquarters. A powder barrel. Don't know what that is, to be honest. Is that what they were smoking here? Invisibility potion? Looks like they just boiled the kettle. What a pity. I hate to deprive them of food. Uh, we can cook our food, though. Which is always good, because it gives us more benefits when we actually eat it. And I'm going to take some potatoes. Excuse me. Let's go to the top and see if we can see any points of interest. 69 pennies. 
Look at that view. That is indeed a hell of a view. Alright, let's go back to the path then and start continuing onwards on our journey north. You see, I told you this would be an adventure. Nothing's ever quiet on this silly road. The most unsafe roads in the whole kingdom in Enderal. Save the game just here, actually, just in case we get yeeted by a wolf on our way. A statue. Light magic. Oh, hello. What was that? Jesus Christ, you scared the crap out of me. Very spooky follower, for sure. Alright. Oh, hello. I keep seeing the birds out the corner of my eye, and they're so huge, they sometimes look like dragons. Just get flashbacks to Skyrim when a dragon comes out of nowhere, and you can't continue on your quest until you killed it. Oh, there. oh. There what? There's... There's... Ah! There's undead! Go on, kill it. Man, I heard that as it hits her. Go on, hit him. Yeet. Awoke and lost one. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. That was all of them. That was all of them. Okay, great. I'll take your word for it. They were guarding this sacred statue. Someone's left the candlestick here. I don't know why they're actually guarding it, though, to be honest with you. See, the paths are so safe, guys. I've never felt more safe in my entire life than on this... Wait, what's this? I'm assuming this guy's a bandit. A marauder. There we go. There's only one marauder there. I'm concerned. There's two bedrolls, so I'm... Surprised he doesn't have a friend, to be honest with you. Riverdale mead. I would like to try some mead. Oh, yes. Oh! That was weird. I didn't press A. Rat skin? Oh, my favourite. Oh, my God, guys. We have some uh, mice. I think they're mice. I don't think they're rats. In our garage. Here's the marauder. He's got a rune battle axe. Very nice, my friend. I'll take that from you. Yeah, we have uh, some mice in our garage, and they've, like, eaten all of our hiking equipment, uh, which we haven't actually used yet. I don't know if this guy's could be another marauder. Yeah, he's getting his weapon out. He's definitely a bad boy. Oh, get wrecked, son. And get Look at that. There. Oh, right in the chest. You just got absolutely yeeted to oblivion there. Mate, get wrecked. Yeah, it was so sad because we haven't actually used the hiking equipment yet and it all got eaten by these mice over winter, I think, when they were staying there. So we were cleaning out the garage because we have like loads of like essentially my whole house is literally IKEA furniture because it's just like looks good and it's affordable, essentially. So we had like loads of cardboard boxes spare in the garage and we had like been meaning to clean them up for a while. There. Wait, what? what's there? Oh god, I'm being shot at. There's a guy up there, I can see him now. Can't see him very well though. Oh, now he's moving, I see him. Hit him once. I'm coming. I will save you. Ah! There we go, take him out. That was indeed all of them. Let me take his uh, arrows. So we ended up cleaning out the garage and... We were, like, cutting up all the cardboard boxes and stuff. And then my fiancé, Kim, screams, um, gets, like, the jump scare of her life when this, like, black shadow just comes out of nowhere. And some of the mice are still in there. And they seem to be a bit big now, and I don't think they can actually, like, escape the garage. So I'm going to have to, like, manually go in there and catch them and then, like, release them outside of the garage. Because they've obviously, like, grown up inside there. And now they're, like, too big. Um, so, yeah, we have a few of those roaming around our garage. And I was cleaning it out yesterday again, and I saw it, and it just, like, scuffled behind uh, this old mattress we have in there. So, it's quite, like, ugh. I want to get rid of, rid of them, but humanely. We literally live opposite, like, a field right now. Um, we're very close to our location. 
And um, I think they'll just come in from there. We actually saw a fox. Oh, hello there. We saw a fox a few days ago when we went for a walk. And it just kind of stared at us and then ran off into the distance. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh god. There's wolves on us now. Oh Jesus Christ. Ah, mate. Come on, we need to kill these things. Before the bigger threats come. Take him out. He's not taking much damage. He's almost down, I think. There we go, he's dead. Now he's just got to deal with the mage. Wherever he is. I can't even see him, but they can always see me. There he is. As long as he doesn't hit me with a stupid fireball, it means I can actually see him. Beautiful. Let me just shoot her in the back. Oh no, I killed the, the lost one or whatever its name is. So it looks like the castle Where is... Where are you going, Saira? That is not the right way. Just don't take too long, alright? I'll wait here. Shut up. I'm just trying to loot the body of the mage, but I can't see it in all this grass. Ah, there you are. Let us keep by the righteous oh. path. Wait. Wait, what? It looks like the castle's pretty much abandoned. What is it? What's wrong? You can't just be like, wait, and then just not say anything. I think this bow is actually better than my current one, what's it? Oh, silver steel bow. No, it's doing 36 damage, that's nice. Oh wait, there's some bodies here. These are novices, aren't they? Yeah. I'm gonna take this. Maybe you don't mind. Did you know any of these people? Oh, they're quite rich, your friends, aren't they? Oh, there's a keeper here as well, a dead keeper. Keeper longsword. I don't have that. And a keeper shield. I'll take that too. Nice. Oh, no. no, I already looted him. This is Brother Gallius. What were they doing here? I don't know. Let's search their bodies. I already did. I already did that. Oh, no, suddenly he has orders. Let's take a read here. Hunters of the area speak of strange creatures in the ruins of Northwind. We believe an entreprist is hiding in the mines of the village. Take a look at the mines next time you have a mission in the Frostcliff Mountains. The Order needs those materials to rebuild the beacon. And if we want to re-establish the mine, we can't just leave it to the Entropists. Signet Leader, JB. He didn't even mention that he uh, signed off on this. Anything? Yes, their orders. Seems like the old mine in Northwind is occupied by some wild mage. He's responsible for the Lost Ones and the fire elementals around here. Oh, of course, I heard about that. The Order wanted the ore for the beacon. Poor people. This bastard must have taken them by surprise. Let's take a look into that mine, Saira. Our expedition into the castle will just have to wait. Will it though? Do we have to go to the mine? Uh, well she wants me to. I guess we've got to do this first, guys. We've got to go to the mine and, you know, be a proper crusader because she's such a do-gooder. Behind the horizon, I've unlocked an achievement. There are achievements this way. Where are you going, Saira? That is not the right way. Just don't take too long, all right? You all told me to come down here. You're like, let's go down the mine and take out the what? What the hell is that? Oh god, what's that in the distance? Ah, uh, kill it! Get ready. Jesus Christ. Ow, 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 it hurts, it hurts. Kill it, kill it. Kill it! Kill it with fire! No, why are you standing in front of me? There's a bloody ice elemental coming at us. We're all gonna die, we're all gonna die. What are you doing? Why are you doing crazy magic? She's got an arrow for her face from where I hit her. Jesus Christ, thank God it's dead. What are you doing? You're still trying to like... Are you doing a dance for me? What is this, huh? She's standing there like... 
Look at all the Fs I give. What is this creature? An elemental wolf, eh? I think it's terrifying. An adept lock. There's a chest there, but I don't need it. What I need is some lemon food right now. I need to save the game, and then we need to have a look on the map. Because we need to go this way, apparently. Might as well go straight on. We've already cleared the way anyway. I see a potion of ambrosia on the shelf. Learning book, Elementicism. Hmm, interesting. So there's a dead end there, so it looks like we have to go to the left. Can't see anyone down here. There's a chest on the left, though. Why does she always push me? It's Enemies. so annoying. Get ready. This is the bloody mage, and he's firing poison and stuff at me. Please don't walk in front of me. Kill him! There we go. He's dead. Don't worry. Shot him through the head. Jesus. Retribution. Broken soul gem. Ooh, very pretty. Circlet of Limbo. Sonics cost less to cast. Got some dark magic, which I'll be taking for myself. And it's over. Gallius helped me with my preparations for the trial. He didn't deserve to end like that. Nor did the others. In any case... We need to tell the Grand Master about this, once we have searched Elgalar's castle. Indeed. There's a key here, and hopefully this... No, it, the key doesn't work on the chest, which is next to. Of course not. Why would... Why would it? Why would it? Luckily, I am a pro lockpicker. Uh, a rune bow. Well, that's useless. There's nothing in here for me. Nothing! People keep telling me I'm underleveled, but to be honest, the game's quite nice when it's actually difficult. Even though you can hear me crying from from three miles away. So, this mine actually seems to continue, right? Or is that the way we came? No, no, this is a cave in. You can just go through this way. Ooh, spooky. There's some more conjuration spells, which I can sell, because they're so expensive. Now we can get out of this. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Get out of the way. Get out of the bloody way, woman. Jeez, it's kind of bloody sea. The fire effects in this game is honestly the worst. It's the bane of my existence. That was all of them. I didn't know if you were mating with it or if I should kill it because it was killing you. Jesus. That was very kinky. Uh, yeah, this is the exit. Here we are. Right, let's head out of this cave. And head to the castle, my friends. The castle. Ah, here you are. Going. Yes, let's keep going to the castle that we needed to go to initially. It looks like there is some kind of village up ahead, but I'm pretty sure it's just going to be in ruins. North wind discovered. What's left of it anyway? Like a complete uh, ruin. North Once among the most important mining sources in the country. And now, nothing but a ruin. In the end, all is fleeting, I suppose. I... wait. I can't see anyone else here. It's definitely abandoned, that much is for sure. Seems like I can get up to the castle this way though. There's like a path through the, the woodland. Secret entrance. Okay, there are wolves there. I just can't hit them with my bow. Let's go ahead and walk up on them. We'll discover the castle anyway. And that's good news. Oh boy! A young snow with a snapper. Let's use our fire arrows to take these guys out. Where's my follower when I need him? One down. You better run. You've seen what I can do now. Huh? Ah! Jesus Christ, I'm gonna get killed by snow wolves. Oh, oh. Let's run back a bit. I don't know where Carly has gone. 
Oh, there she is. She's helping me yeet on these wolves. Taking out another one. Focus, Kalia. Focus. What are you doing? He's running into a tree, telling herself to focus. An interesting technique, my friend. Where's the last one? There it is. Where are you going, that is not the right Don't ask me where I'm going. There's a wolf here. I need to kill it. I'll wait here. I'll wait here. Shut up. I need that wolf meat. I need to eat that roar, okay? Right, here we are at the castle, finally. Here's the entrance. It looks very, very welcoming. I reckon let's just go inside and hope for the best. Locked, as expected. Is it? How did you know? I didn't even get to the door to check it. And how was it expected? Maybe there's a side entrance or something. Maybe, but the ground around here is slippery and the cliffs are steep. That could turn out poorly. Hmm. Maybe we could try to break the gate open instead. But how? I'm just going to jump hmm. off the cliff. Black powder might do the trick, if we had any. We do! I've actually got a barrel that I picked up earlier and wondered what that was. You have what? You're jesting, right? Literally. Kirash. I will never understand how so much can fit in these little pockets. Literally. But that's not enough, I'm afraid. I would guess we'll need at least eight barrels. What? And where are we get meant to get that? Let me think. Northwind was a prospector's village after all, and I think I saw some kind of trap door down there near the mine's entrance. With luck, that could be a storage area. I suggest you take a look at it. Uh, I'll start yeah, digging meanwhile... the gate free in the meantime. You're just going to sit here and do nothing, and I will go back and grab that for us, yeah? No worries. Okay, so here's the entrance of the mine. We should find some powder barrels around here somewhere. Very spooky place though, isn't it? I don't really like it. Here's the trap door. The storage. Okay, great. There's loads of dead bodies around the storage area. The mine's completely blocked in. Yeah, I can't wait for this one. Let's go into the storage cellar. Oh, yeah, it's really dark. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Get out of here. Oh, there's tons of little ones. Ah! No, no. Oh god, what the f- oh! oh, I can't even see them. This is disgusting. No, get away. Ah! Jesus Christ. My neighbors are going to be thinking, what the hell? I've got like, the window open. Getting yeeted by like 10,000 spots. <sighs> That's the dead one. Ugh. My eyes are bleeding trying to see into the darkness. Carry the barrels. Oh, no, no, but there's there's treasure here. I was like smashing the A button trying to pick up the health potions. <laughs> I didn't read it. Well then, oh. take cover. Take cover. How did we get the oil? Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. There that was. Go. Very dangerous. Wait, you're just gonna walk across the fire? Wow. She is actually just, uh, what is it? From Game of Thrones. Frosty boy. Uh, is this safe? I'm not on fire. That's good, isn't it? What the? <sighs> breathe. Just breathe. <sighs> I'm sorry, this. This was unexpected, but I guess that answers the question of what happened to Zalgalar's servants. Poor sods. What happened just now? It was like you were possessed something or someone murdered them. And you really think the Black Sun is connected to all of this? An idealistic count, a remote castle, and a powerful artifact befouled by the High Ones. That's not too far-fetched, wouldn't you agree? <sighs> We won't be able to get in through the main gate, but there has to be a side entrance. Come on, let's take a look around. Are you kidding me? I suggested that initially, and we had to blow open this gate before you agree with me. Oh, why don't you listen to me ever? Mate, this is creepy. At least he had the good courtesy to put lanterns on them. Okay, let's save the game here. I'm slightly worried what we're going to find here. The main entrance is indeed blocked, but if we go on to the right here... Assuming we can find another entrance. So many bodies here. I wonder how long they've been here for. Hmm. I think this is as good an entrance as we're going to get into this place. The stables. 
Hopefully there's no zombie horses in there. The place is so dark. These horses are very dead. Can't see anything. Right, there we go. Let's have a look around now. Horseshoes, rakes. Oh, look, there's a secret little ender owl symbol here. Eight out of a hundred. I feel like we're not doing very well in that regard. Uh, is there anything else important? No secret entrances within the stable? Well, there is a note here. Written paper. Yes, I know, but he is our master. What will you do? Only one year and we will have enough pennies to buy two new horses. For whatever he uses them. Okay. Uh, very mysterious. Oh, God. Lots of horseshoes as well. Nothing really inside here, though, to... Where are you going, Saira? That is not the right way. Just Shut don't up. take too long, I don't know where right? the right way is. Why don't you here. bloody show me if you know the side entrance, mm. huh? No, that won't lead us inside. Well, this won't. This is the kitchen. No, it's not good. Let's go inside. Maybe I can find some more store. <laughs> Let's leave. Watch out. That wasn't friendly there. when I went in there. All right, let's try the doors on the other side of the castle then. Maybe that will give us some luck. There's another entrance on the other side. Two entrances, in fact. Wait, what? Huh. That one looks good if you ask me, but it's locked, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like we need to search for a key. Uh, who would have guessed that? We should start with the corpses, I think. There has... What about Brother Yarber? Declined. Just like the others. If you would maybe just explain to them what we need those bodies for, they might... I would not justify myself to those fools. If they only had a trifle of decency, they would see the debt they are in. But, as they wish, there are other ways. Tell the other servants that I do not want to be disturbed for the rest of the evening. And bring me new salve. The salve... Of course, Master. Walk blessed. Okay. To be someone with a key. Um, are you alright, Saira? I think I just saw Delgala, his memory. Wait, you mean in a vision? But how? I thought everything you see comes from the Pyrian Age. Me too, but it was him, I'm sure of it. And he was talking to a woman, some kind of apprentice maybe. Seems like the apothecary stopped supplying him with fresh corpses. Hmm. That would explain why he hired so many hunters from the village. But what did he need all those cadavers for? The angel? <sighs> Whatever. Let's go search those bodies for a key. Wait. D do you hear that? What the hell? Here. Oh god! The corpses are coming back to life. All is explained immediately. Let's get a bloody bow out. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Uh. The servants. We need to get rid of them. Ah! Uh. Oh my god. I just took tons of damage. Ow, ow, ow. We need to get out of here, man. We need to run. Jesus. Look how tanky they are. Wait, what's going on? Why is my bow not firing arrows again? Jesus Christ. I'm like, using slow time, but not. This is so weird. Just need to take the guy out with a bow, so we don't die. Oh, mate, come on. Don't do me like that. You're almost down, guys. Oh, there's another one with a bow. Jesus. Taking out one of them. Where are you? There you are. Goodness me. Almost down. Holy moly. You are pretty useless. Ugh. Your vision must have caused this. We should be prepared for resistance now. Come on, let's find that key. I don't want to have to look at this any longer than necessary. Why do I get the blame for that, huh? 
That's not fair. Oh, it must have been your vision that caused all of the undead to raise from their graves. Alright, I'm going to search the kitchen. Because I reckon that I have the key. Alright, let's go into the kitchen. Hello there, frost spirit. Now I know you're here. You can get wrecked. I don't think there's anything else here. Just that. Alright, here we go. Let's have a look around here then. Some food still. Not much though. Hoping to find a note with some kind of explanation as to what's going on here. Oh, set of Selena's Baston. Look at that armor set, that looks sick. Heavy armor, 47 armor. Much better than my current set. Block 7% more damage with your shield. Heavy armor fortified by 7 points, increases your health by 11 points. That's amazing. Right, let's go back and find this key now. Alright, I just activated the quest objective and the key is just here, next to the wall. Do you have it? Then let's go in. Let's go in, in sneak mode. Good. Let's see if we can get through the main hall somehow. Then we'll see. Doesn't look safe. Hmm. Oh boy, some stuff Enemies. just woke up. Ready. Watch out. Mm. So many servants, very tanky servants as well, especially when they're under. There we go. We can't actually fit for here, can we? It's like we're going to have to go the long way around. Oh god, there's one. And our 10 kill cam angle. Very nice. Oh! Jesus Careful. Christ. Kill it. Enemies. Oh god, Get there's ready. another one. Very nice. Oh, please stop running in front of me every single time I try and shoot something. Goodness me. That was all of them. Right, it's finally dead, thank goodness. Uh. Ooh, very pretty. Blank papers. Health potion. There's lots of like apprentice rooms in here as well. They have a lot of books. Oh my god, please get out of my way. Another apprentice room. Let's continue on to the Great Hall anyway, it's not that far away. It's literally snowing through the window. Alright, let's carry on to the main hall then. Just through here. Something worries me about this. Wow. What a sight. Do you see anything? With your gift, I mean. Not yet. Any idea where we could start looking for the stone? No, but I suppose Dalgalar's personal quarters would be a good place to start. I guess the big gate over there should lead us there. Let's take a look. Okay. Mate, this... this room is way too big and concerning let's try the door no matter how hard you pull it doesn't move an inch uh, locked of course what else would you expect when breaking into someone's house let's see must be a puzzle hmm I understand this is some kind of magic seal, similar to the one the Magisters once showed us in the Scuola. You need to speak the correct words in order to pass. Two of them, it seems. Peachy. And how are we supposed to find these words? Well, that's the question. But knowing Del Galar, I'm sure he chose two words that meant something to him. So if we can somehow find out more about him and what he did here, we might have a chance. If not, we'll need to look for another way in. Come. Let's take a look at the two towers. I think the staircases in this hall might lead us there. All right. Oh, okay, let's do that. Two towers. Okay, there's one up here. Can we get up there? Oh, I can get up there, nice. Go through this door then. The research room. I reckon the password is Big Yeet. 
This must have been some kind of laboratory. Oh, that was a person. Look, look who's this? You see that? <laughs> some guy. You can't actually see that. One down. How many shots did they take These This is meant to be a sneak attack, right? Just says critical strike, but no sneak attack. Oh crap. Ow, ow, ow. Oh my god, they have bloody aimbot, man. One down. Jesus Christ, I'm getting peppered everywhere. Uh, let's use fire arrow again. Look at that is no damage. Oh god, thank goodness. Focus, come here. What? How, how did he hit me? No way. Get wrecked, son. Come on, fire the arrow. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Hold on, to Ira. Hold on to what? Like, you keep dying. You're useless. Good god. Oh, oh my god, there's another one. Jesus. Where are you? There you Focus. are. Focus. That was... All of them. Let's look around. Let's look around this death trap. Oof. Leather, An enchanting altar, blank paper, blank paper, a locked chest. Interesting. Oh my god, I finally found the bloody keys. Oh. Is there a reason why you're hiding, Yulika? Forgive me, Master. I wanted to talk to you. Uh, of course you do. What's on your mind? I... Forgive my words, but I find certain recent developments disquieting. Do you? You've changed, Master. Every day the villagers bring their sick to our gates, but you forbid us to let them in. Instead, you spend every minute with this... With this girl. And the Black Stone. Haven't you heard the tales? The stones are cursed. Master, you really should... Go and pack your things, Yulika. What? Master, I am just worried about you. I know, and I thank you for it. Now go. Your apprenticeship is over. But... Go! At least he's better. We need to go farther up, Saira. We won't find anything here. I found the key to that door, and I saw another memory. Again? And what did you see? You were right. Dogala is definitely at work with the Blackstones. It seems like he got more reclusive as time went on. Hmm. Yes, that he did. I guess that's why people just forgot about him eventually. But at least we know now that we're not following a false trail. Come, maybe we can find more upstairs. Let's have a look. Let's see what we can discover. Now we have the key. Oh god. I have a bad feeling about this. Huh. Wait. Wait, what? What did she get? Dark. Scientia Sinestra by Ibn Nadarim. Hmm. That was a Kyranian arcanist of the Zimnoza. Getting caught with one of these books is essentially a crime here in Anderal. Seems that Dal Galar needed more than just alchemy and light magic for his angel. Hmm. I guess we go upstairs. This is one of the towers that we had to explore at least. 90% sure there's going to be a bunch of enemies here. Stuffed creatures. Even lost ones. I'm not surprised he and the lake had their differences. Human flesh. Nice. I'll eat that. Big brown bear. Trolls. 
It's like a storage room more than anything. This is the research tower. What are we going to find here, though, is the question. Ooh. Is that the Blackstone? I suppose I'm going to shield. What the? That's not a laboratory, that's a crypt. What is that? Two hands clutching a stone. Hirosh. Now we know that he didn't just stick to animals, but what is this fluid they're floating in? I saw something like it earlier in the aged man's manner. It seems to preserve the body somehow. Hmm. I see. Do you see that? A crystal. But it's so dull. As if all its energy... Energy is life. And energy is death. A trifle less. Not too much less. Just a little. Don't disappoint me. Not this time. been drawn from it. Maybe that was some kind of experiment for what he planned to do with the Black Stone? It was, yes. He tried to transfer the energy that the crystal had to the dead body. What? I just saw it. There were corpses here. Dalgar was experimenting them. He tried somehow to fuse the energies with their bodies. But to what end? If this device were some kind of prototype for the Angel, what did he hope to use it for? This only gets more confusing. Come. Let us look for the second code word. Maybe it's around here somewhere. What's in this chest? This was like the direction it was pointing. Nothing remotely relevant. Well, a letter. Read this letter firstly. I don't really see any bodies. Oh, there's a body in there. Very weird. Okay. I cannot find words to describe how happy each of your letters make me feel. It is as if the warmth of your fingers would still be attached to them, but do not let me waste time and answer your question. Our little one is getting better and better. The cool climate is doing her very well. Just a few days after her arrival, she already woke from her coma. Her cheeks are becoming rosy each day and her breath more powerful. I am sure that during the next star summer's nights you will be able to enfold her in your arms. Furthermore. You wanted to know when you can move here. Heavy heartedly, I have to starve you off another few moons. Your presence here would put Maya's healing in danger. I would beg you not ask me for the why. Believe me, the distance between us hurts me just as much as it hurts you. Milan told me that he paid for the Liran in Ark a whole year accommodation and meals for you. I will write to you soon. In love, Samuel. Okay, and there's some black soul gems here. I'm gonna eat those. Nice. Let's have a chat with Carlyle. Anything? Have a look at this. I guess it answers some questions. It does? Show me. Hmm. So Delgalar had a daughter. And this Tanisha must have been his companion? His paramour? Yes, and his daughter was ill. Seems that he moved here to heal her. Yes, but why the heck would cold mountain air be good for a sick child? That's nonsense. He could have just stayed in Ark with his companion. Hmm. At least now we have another candidate for the code words. Tainisha. I doubt we'll find anything else here. What do you say, Saira? Shall we go back to the main hall? Let's go. Good. Come on. Now we need to explore the other side Good. of the tower. Then let's try our luck with these sigils, shall we? You do it. Here we go. Say the password. Right, let's try the password Tanisha. Yes, that sounds good. Okay, so we have one word. Now let's take a look at the other tower. Maybe we can find the other one there. Maybe. Or maybe not. Let's yeet ourselves up this thing here. Oh, there we go. We go through here. 
A dining hall. I can't wait to get attacked again, Carlia. Ah, there you are. Let us keep Carlia. going. I, you knew you knew I was here. What do you mean? There you are. More bodies. What in blazes happened here? That one's dabbing hard. Sneaking around. I don't want to be yeeted by all these. No! <laughs> Jesus, what the hell is that? Get, get out of it. Magic anomaly. It's an error. An error in the system. Can't hit it. Where is this bloody body? Look at it. What the hell is that? Oh my god. <gasps> now, just what the heck was that? There's definitely a bug. Probably the same thing that kept on raising the dead here. Yes, probably, but what is it? That's not an elemental, at least not a common one. <sighs> Let's just be careful. I don't like this. Really, you don't like this? Oh god. I do not like this at all, so we are definitely in agreement there. Oof. Every time you make that sound, it sounds like really creepy. I don't like it at all. Oh, hello. What's that? Silver Ambrosia. Soul Trap. The Left Tower. I'm worried. Quite dark in here too. Oh, there's an interesting shielded door. I assume we need to solve how to get through this. A barrier. Mm -mm. That looks like Starlingcraft to me. Without... It is impossible to banish the barrier, correct? Yes, my son. And no one apart from us knows the letter. I see. That I owe you my thanks. We should make a toast. To your Matralian brandy? That's poison. I, um... I must confess that I am no friend to alcohol, but... Thank you nonetheless. Hmm. Oh, God, oh, the place is with it. What are we drinking to? Our collaboration? To our collaboration. At a world free of suffering. Um, alright. To our collaboration. And a world free of suffering. What is that? Marvelous, really. Between us, Miza, why the barrier? What do you have up there that five arm wides of north wind stone aren't enough for you? Something that's very dear to me, and very fragile. Um, I see. Well, then I can assure you that. Ah, oh, blistery, blazes. How tired I suddenly am. All that work it, it must have gone to my head. Yes, nope. my sir. You should rest. And forgive me. I will take care of your family. You have my word on that. What... what do you mean? I just have to... <laughs> the... yeah. I am oh sorry. Is he sorry, though? Knowing how it works, we'll have a hard time getting through here. We need some kind of device, some code of some kind. And even to find the device, I'm guessing Dalgala took it to his grave. What? You had another vision. Indeed. Dalgala had his barrier constructed by a starling tinkerer, and he poisoned him after it was finished. Poisoned? Why? I'm not sure. Probably because he didn't want anyone else to know the code. Hmm. Yes, probably. But killing someone just because of that? I thought better of him, really. This must have something to do with the angel, however. Question is, how do we get through here? We don't have that device, whatever it is, and I don't think Dalgalar left the code just laying around somewhere if he was willing to kill someone over it. Let's take a look around. There must be another way. Well, I'm pretty sure it has something to do with these bells, like the previous puzzle we solved. Maybe there's a note around here too. Hmm, a breach. What? Oh, 
Maybe we could kill the mechanism that runs the barrier with force? But... Hmm, wait. Yes, that could work. Enlighten me. I snatched a bag of black powder earlier when we carried the barrels up to the gate. I thought it might come in handy. Here, okay. Magistro Jaela gave me this scroll not too long ago. You could use it to throw the pouch through the breach. And a fire arrow will take care of the rest. A fire arrow. Okay, so we need to drop the barrel from our inventory first. Powder barrel, here we go. We just yeet it through the door, can't we? Oh, it's not moving. Can I, uh, can I just put it through? Oh no, that's not working. So I need to use the telekinesis spell, which you gave me the book for. Sonic push, here we go. Okay, so there's actually a crack in the top of the wall of that, I didn't notice. Let's see if we can yeet this bow through there. Finally! Now see if you can shoot a fire arrow through the breach so it drops onto the mechanism. Okay, let me use my bow. Uh, silver, yes. Pick up the flaming arrow again. Try to shoot from an oblique angle, otherwise the arrow will bounce off in the wrong direction. There we go. Perfect. Let's hope the fire doesn't spread. Now let's go see what Dalgalar wanted to hide so badly. Let's go and have a look, eh? It's up this extremely dark tower. Whatever it is. It's literally snowing in here, mate. Oh. I have no idea what we're going to find here. Oh, this was the child's room. It's keeping her captive. The weird. Toys. And what is this blue substance everywhere? Hmm. Interesting. Huh. This must have been his daughter's room. Let's take a look around. Okay. There's some empty flasks here. What's that? He was clearly experimenting on her. Pencil the empty flasks. What is the ancient book here? Oh. No, please don't eat me. The Vatir eyed him and sneered. Why wouldn't I? You are weak and I am strong. His voice was coarse like a whisper tree's bark and... You don't like this story, do you? <sighs> of course not. You didn't like it when Mother read it to you either. But do you want to know something, my little starlet? Soon, you'll be warm again. And then there will be no more need for stories. Because you will be able to go out yourself and explore this world on your own two feet. I promise you, Maya. I promise you. Oh. I think I found something. The girl was dead, Sierra. She was dead. I'm sorry? There. Delgalar's acquisitions. Now guess what else apart from animal bodies he bought heaps of. Dewflowers, lavender, and shadow stem oil. And what does that mean? These are the ingredients for the ointments the Kileans use to embalm their dead. As long as it is regularly applied, the process of decay doesn't begin. The Kileans use it to keep a body fresh before sending it to sea, but this... Dalgalar bought enough of these ingredients to prepare funeral balm for five dozen corpses. And didn't you tell me he ordered his apprentice to get him his salve? Dalgalar's daughter wasn't ill when he brought her here, Saira. She was dead. And he used this balm to preserve her like a piece of salted meat. This is... this is horrible. That fits with what I just saw. The girl's name was Maya, and she tried to resurrect her somehow. That would explain the letters. Ty Unisha. Yes. He wouldn't accept her death, and thus lied to his wife. And this device we saw in his laboratory must have been how he intended to resurrect her. But now it all makes sense. This must be the true reason for Dalgalar's work on this angel. He must have wanted to use it in order to revive his daughter. 
At least now we have a good candidate for the code word. Maya. Do you still want to stay here a little longer, or shall we go back to the main hall? Uh, I don't think there's anything left for us here. Let's go. Yes. Come. Good. Better luck with these sigils, shall we? So, yeah. this one is Maya. Maya. I can't believe we actually did it. Come on. Let's see what's behind there. Come on then. Why are you standing all the way over there in the darkness? The darkness! Let's go into the library. I'm assuming we're going to have some more dead people to fight. So this is his sanctum. Unbelievable. Just look at all these books. I wonder how much knowledge is hidden here. Clavica's files here too. Look at that. Wait, she got her sword out. Hmm. Is there someone standing there? Is that a statue? No. Um, lots of books. Oh god. I can hear people. I can't see them. Oh, they're on the floor above. The hell? There's a ladder over there. I can see an enemy just there. Right, let's change our weapon. Careful. There. Oh, oh it's so much better than you have a sneak attack. Get ready. Look at that damage. Especially when you're following and just run in front of you. There she is, running in front of me. Get wrecked, son. Look at that. Beautiful. Dead, dead, dead. Okay, I think we've taken them all out pretty much. Yes, so we got did some let stamina. some servants in here. After all, even though that didn't save them from their companion's fate. There's a grotesque here as well. Save the game again. It's a very weird library, isn't it, to have this strange construction here. Odd setup indeed. This gate is locked. What the Oh Saira Zurual Minto Jaronis. He who is patient always finds a way. I was starting to worry that you two little birdies would never part. So it wasn't just my imagination. Yes, you have been followed. Thanks for opening the gates, by the way. That saved us a lot of effort. Quite the feat, I must admit. Ah! Oh, <laughs> now look at that. You don't waste any time talking. Hmm, I like that. Then I'll return the favor. <laughs> Kirash, what is this? Let me go, you bastard! This, my little bird, is mentalism perfected. Because this time, someone was less willing to take risks and decided to send capable soldiers rather than those idiots from Ult Ration Grad. Now, don't look so grumpy, sweetheart. Why are you gonna be sweet? You're up next. And I promise we'll have just as much fun with you as we'll have with her. If you do that, you'll regret it, I swear. <laughs> I highly doubt it. Regret was never one of my virtues, I'm afraid. Take her, my friends, but careful, understood? I want her alive. I'll see to that. The stone, Saira. Find the stone and then run. No! Just hold still, honey. You're only making it worse. I'm playing a male character. Why am I? No! Getting... Get oh. off me! Damn it! Get off me! Jesus Christ. Oh god. Holy moly, how many things are there? Goodness me, it's loads. Alright, let's go, go, go. 
No, Kirish, please, you're making a mistake. What? Well, there's a key. Oh, for fuck. Here's the key, thank God. Sake, Lambert, can't you just make her shut up? Another key? Oh boy. I'm... That was a mistake. I'm sure it was. And now, what the heck? She turning. We can hear her turning next door. Didn't I tell you to? Or the name of the sun? Do not piss her off. Oh, goodness me. Jesus Christ. How of an orgy is this? Make a bed and fire for Kalaya. Fill her pulse. Ask her if she's okay. It's slow but steady. Her skin feels strangely cold. Make a bed for her. Just, that's a big fire I made for her, Jesus Christ. Color? Silence. Oh, I can't pick up her. Okay. Slow but steady, her skin feels strangely cold. Okay, well we set fire to the entire bloody mansion, so... Hopefully that's warm enough. Do I just leave her there? I feel kind of bad to doing that. Why have I like put her around, like put these sacks around her? Like it's a bit weird, isn't it? Why don't we just shoot her? Let's see what happens. Oh, okay, no, she's fine. I went straight through her, Jesus Christ. This object is already in use by someone else. Uh, okay, interesting. All right, let's go back upstairs and see if we can find a key this door. So that was the gap. Oh, we still have to fall down here. That's annoying. Just looking around. I don't think there's anything else for us to do here, really. Alright, I think we can actually go through this main door now. The sanctuary. I have no idea what we're going to find here. Let's get our torch out so we can see something. Blank paper. Another very creepy room. How about upstairs? We're in the roof here, actually. Oh, boy. Close it all. Close the door. Get your weapon out. My god. They were just sitting there waiting an eternity for me to come round. He's flying. Who shot? Your ex -hum. Come at me. Boom. Where's the last one? There he is. Don't even try it, mate. That's right, you're wrecked. Give me your arrows. Oh, he's giving me a key as well. Pretty handy. Is this a good diamond? Oh! 
how you laughed. All of them ran inside, but you just stood outside in the rain and... Uh, I should have been there for you more, Starlet. So much more. But I will make up for it, I swear. Tomorrow. I will heal you. Once you and the stone are connected, you will be able to walk again. And this time, I will be a good father. And that's just for a start. The stone will change you, Maya. It will become a part of you. And it will give you power even the light board can only dream of. The blind will see again if you so choose, and the mute will speak. You will succeed where I have failed. Freeing mankind from all its misery. Like an angel. So he was talking to his dead daughter. Oh, there were some books here. That's another key to the sanctum there. A chest. Alright, let's head into the sanctum. So, I think this is his bedroom. I'm trying to get a torch. Oh, a sonic splinter, tier 3. A letter. Beloved Tanisha, I would be lying if I said that your last letter didn't hurt me. Is the talk of the stable lads and Tom Foolish villagers really more important to you than mine? Mayor is doing well, believe me. I wouldn't write if it wasn't so. Yes, yeah, she's still weak and cannot stay on her legs longer than a few hours before the exhaustion gets her, but things are looking up. Furthermore, I was able to test new elixirs sufficiently enough to treat her with, and it's a good conscience. It will help her regain new strength. Tanisha and I ensure you, you will hardly be able to recognize her afterwards. So for the last time I ask you, trust me and be patient. You know I would do anything for you and her, anything. In love, Samuel. That is a very disturbing letter considering her daughter, his daughter, or their daughter, is dead. Got an Enderau symbol here. Okay. Let's go up here. Oh, there's some bodies here. We've got to save the game and get our bow out. There's a lot of bodies. Oh, mate. I could have known the trap. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Come on, open the door. Day. Oh, what? How the hell do I get disarmed? Who unequipped my fire arrows? Goodness me. I'm going to have to use assassination here. here. Right. Oh, boy. Give me the extra critical damage. Why are they running backwards? That's perfect. Whoa, steady old mess. There we go. Get wrecked, son. Sharpen still arrows. Nice. Okay, so this is the Blackstone. Can't pick it up, though. Don't understand why I can't pick it up. This is the angel that he must have been talking to. Whoa! That's probably why there's another enemy in here. Goodness me. Get wrecked, son. Oh look, there's another Ender Owl symbol hidden here. Right, let's pick up the black stone and see what happens. How do you feel, Dad? Sorry for the hard stone, but there's no other way. I know, and it might just tickle for a little, but not for long, I promise. Too little, not too much. Oh God! Be something to say to me. <sighs> Maya, can you? 
Can you hear me? Daddy? Oh, God. Maya, you! Oh, my little starlet, you! I feel dizzy, Daddy. And where's Mommy? She... she is at home. You have been very ill, you know that? Very, very ill. But now... Maya, what? What's wrong? I... It... It burns! Did the ice... Wait, is Maya... a liar? Starling, what's wrong? I... The shadow. What? Poor little creature. You don't have the slightest idea how special you are, do you, Kalia? <gasps> oh my god, I was gonna call it, but I genuinely... Because I kind of assumed maybe it was the case, there was a connection, it kind of made sense from Kalia's backstory. And now we know that Kalia is the little girl. It makes sense. Oh my god. Take the stone and bring Carlia to safety. Leave the stone behind for now and keep exploring. Yeah, one sec. Let me just... I don't think there's anything else here. Let's do that then. What are you going to tell Carlia once she awakens? The truth that she is Delgarla's daughter. The ritual failed and that explosion killed Delgala Delgala and his attendants. No, I'm telling the truth. I think she'll take it really well. I would. Mm, I see. How are you holding up now that you know the truth? <laughs> hmm, I see. How do you think I am? It changes nothing. That's what I thought. Why, doesn't it help you know who you truly are? Yeah, who am I? The failed experiment of a broken man. I'm not sure if that insight was really what I needed. Of course, it helps me to understand the creature inside me. It's a black stone. And it was my father who fused it with my mind. But in the end, all I'm left with are more questions. For example, whether this means that I must bury my hopes for banishing that creature once and for all, or the question of what this veiled woman's role is in all this. It must have been she who set me out in that village, even though she knew of the Blackstone's essence within me and how dangerous it made me. She seems to be the same one you encountered on the ship where your friend died, and the one who made those bandits flee into old Dothulgrad. Who is she? What are her intentions? I just don't understand, Sa'ira. I don't understand. <sighs> Still, what burdens me the most is what happened in that library. That creature inside you saved your life, whether you like it or not. No, she went like that. I only wish I would have been there in time. That is true. It's triggering to be separated. Why does it bother you so much you gave those bastards what they deserved? Well, what exactly did happen in the library? I only heard noises. Well, <laughs> we know what happened. We saw what happened. Yeah, I wish I was there in time. Be thankful you weren't. If you knew how I felt when I killed those mercenaries, you would give me a wide berth, believe me. Such gratification. Such ecstasy. I am disgusting. Saira, if you had been there, I would have slaughtered you just like the others. And that... Say nothing. Does that mean... No, I don't. Whatever, whenever you say that, it feels like you blame yourself for what you are, but it was your father who made you into that creature, not you. I know, Sierra. Rationally, I do. But it doesn't change the fact that I feel... repulsive. I will train harder, meditate more often, until I control every single one of my thoughts. That is the only way I will ever be able to fully control it. Now go and take that stone to the temple, Sa'ira. 
I need some time to myself. Whoa, Jesus. Raz was sitting down. I just had my helmet on that whole conversation. <laughs> Why have I got these robes on as well? What am I wearing? Padded robe of. Oh, I put the mana feature. Okay, I see. That makes sense. Yes. About what happened in Dalgala. Yes. Do you remember any of those things I told you about? The ritual with the black stone and the veiled woman? Any idea as to why the veiled woman did it? Kill your father and then take you away? Well, you're asking the wrong person here. I think you are more familiar with that woman than I am. But judging from what you told me, and what she did to me, more and more I get the impression that she tries to channel the course of history. She influences it through single, relatively mundane interventions, like what she did back in the castle. But this is just guesswork, Saira. I don't know. Do you remember anything before that I told you about the ritual with the Blackstone and the Veiled Woman? Mm. Only fragments. Shreds of thoughts like the memory of flying above the rooftops in that devastated village. But still, throughout all the time we were in that castle, I had this feeling of familiarity. I guess now I know why. Viewed from a certain perspective, you were dead before your father, Dalgala, joined you with that stone. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Saira, please. I know you mean well, but to be honest, I don't want to think about this. When all this, the High Ones, the cycle is over, I'll have plenty of time for pondering. What about your mother? For all we know, she might still be alive. Yes, I've thought about that too. You know, I try to imagine what it would be like meeting her after all these years. I probably wouldn't even know what to say. But even if she is still alive, she probably thinks I'm dead. <sighs> I'll have to think about this. I'll tell you once I've come to a conclusion. Does this help you know what it really is, the Blackstone and the High Ones? Not really, no. I mean, of course, now I at least know where it comes from and that, well, that its existence isn't my fault. But still, it's there and I'll have to live with it forever. Nothing can change that. Right, so my friends, next episode we will collect the final black stone needed to perform the ritual. But I'm going to end today's episode just here. And I really want to continue uh, Carla's backstory because it's really interesting. And especially with that like plot twist, that was like genuinely really good. After playing through the Elder Scrolls Online and how pathetic that plot twist was with the evil vampire reveal. Uh, if you guys haven't seen uh, the playthrough I did of that, you can check it out linked on the channel. But um, yeah, this story is just so well written. And I think it's, you know, a testament to how much time and effort has gone into this mod. It's truly impressive. Thanks so much, by the way, guys, for your patience in, like, waiting for this series to come out. It takes me a long time to, like, play through, edit, and do everything, you know, to get these episodes out and actually, like, render them all and whatnot. Um, so I just want to say thank you so much for, like, hanging about and actually still watching the content. Um, I want each episode to be, like, kind of its own story and not just stop things halfway, which is why this one was a particularly long one. We played for, you know, the entire... St My God, that lady's voice is so annoying. <laughs> Please stop. My can I tell her to stop, Jesus? Even the chicken is, is pissed off. The chicken's like, no, thank you so much for telling me to stop. Okay, Lara, I am so sorry. There's no option for me to tell you to shut up, but if there was, I would yeet you with an arrow in the back of the head. So please, be quiet. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support on Patreon, the likes, the comments on the videos. It is awesome to have you guys here supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, and goodbye. Nope! Only 48 gold for shooting someone in the head with an arrow. It's worth it. <laughs>